Okay, so I'm making this video today to uh, talk about this YouTuber who made a video on lyrics and uh, his name is Nick Sluice again because uh, he called out on lyrics for uh, talking talking like uh, shit about uh, putting make kill yourself funny again is in his bio along with that uh, the word retard I think is what Nick Sluice again said in that video and I think he called him out for a bunch of other things that are related to the uh, too hype drama. So, and uh, along with that, Lyrix did a live stream yesterday, which I saw, to where he addresses someone around here at 3748 about the video made on him for. Uh, you know, basically, basically lyrics speaking his mind, and all that. So before I get to that shortly, I will bring you the uh, I will bring you this video right here, right now. So I'm gonna switch to a new recording and I'll get this one started. Yo, so uh, it's 3.23 a.m. I just wanted to say something real quick. I'm streaming right now. Uh, the goal is not to cancel this guy, just to clarify before we go any further in the video. Just wanted to point out how he said some dumb and I want to make sure that he acknowledges he said some dumb he knows what he did. I want to make sure that he takes accountability for it. He apologizes for it. Move on, whatever. I just want just want him to acknowledge that it happened because like what he did is not okay, and you'll see that later on. Anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, be sure to watch the whole video, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you at the end. Oh look, it's my mouse. How about that? No, we don't. We don't got time. We don't got time for that. Come on, man. Come on, Nick. So, the other day, I wanted to watch The Real Lost and Unbound Exposure. And if you don't know what this is, it's a video, as you see, by Christopher London, LSK, however you know. Uh, and it's basically, literally, it was a 40-minute exposure video, or 30-minute, I don't remember how long it was, on Lost and Unbound, uh, how he paid his editors, like, a dollar fifty an hour. Like, you know the LNU story, if you don't do some research. But I go to watch that video, and I see that it's private. And just, uh confirm because I realize it's a random private page won't do anything. Yep. It's private. See, I see this, and I see that there's this guy making two white videos. Like, he's been my recommended. I'm not going to say his name for obvious reasons. Aside from the title and maybe the description, probably the tags, I'm not going to be saying this name. What I will say is that he has been making a bunch of two white videos. Like, for the last three weeks, it's been nothing but two white. So I'm like, Hey, maybe I can DM this guy and let him know if, that this is going on, because this seems like a kind of fishy thing for LSK to do. <laughs> like, this is, it's not like this video, like, he deleted this at the same time we deleted his Mopey video. Got like a million views on this or something like that. So, like, this was no, like, small potatoes or anything. So, I'm just like, alright, let me go DM this guy. And then I see that I'm blocked. So, you. You won't say his name, but you went to his channel and you put the name of the title of this video right here. Yeah, that makes sense. Really. That totally makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Really, it does. <laughs> Please. Go on, though. Immediately, I'm confused. Like, I was like, yo, what did I do? I've never seen this guy in my life. 
well, what, what, you, what you talking about, bro? So then I go and I type in my name. Like, uh, here I'll show you how, how Twitter works in case you guys want to use it for your own benefit. Like, I put my I put my at, at Nick's Lose Again, and I put his at, and I see I called him a loser back in August. I called him a loser. And I remember I remember calling him a loser, too. But I'm just like, that, that's weird, dude. I've never, like, what could make me call this guy a loser? And then I remember, oh, wait, there's me calling him a loser again. <laughs> So yeah, I see I call this guy a loser, and uh, then I realized something that happened that day. <laughs> I just realized, yo, look at the timestamp, 6.58, immediately I go to this guy's ass, and I, tell, I call him a loser, look at the timestamp. But, my only legs, I'm not gonna say like, oh, legs and I are really close friends, but I've known legs for about five years. Like, on and off. Bro, y'all remember the like sus account that was telling me to kill myself and stuff? I'm not gonna say the other word. I don't know why I said kill myself, but I won't say that. I, I don't know, I'm weird. And I'm like, no, I, I don't remember, but elaborate. You, you won't say the word shit? You're not even monetized. Like, hello, I'm not seeing any more ads from you. It's already been three minutes. And then he said, it was, I'm not, again, I can't say his name. Uh, then why are you showing his name? Why are you showing his name? Why are you making a video about it? If you can't say his name, don't make a video about it. That's my advice. It was Water Bottle. Yep, it was Water Bottle the whole time. This weirdo made a whole account just to tell me to kill myself and that I suck. Lamel! Imagine being that much of a loser, I swear to God. <laughs> And then I'm just like, uh, all right, bet. Like, before he posted this, and this is more proof, by the way. Before he posted this. This, I went up, and uh, that's when I called him a loser. And then uh, that led to the block. As you can tell by his facial reaction, uh, big sad, big sad by, by my end now. I can't look at lyric tweets. Oh, mm, I said his name. I said his name. These are likes. We're gonna look at some of these tweets, right? Like, here is likes us. You're such a weirdo, bro. Honestly, kill yourself. You're such a F word. You're not funny, bro. You're so cringe. Sample 5,000 on why likes likes men. Yep, look at that name too. Here he is, he's liking lyric tweets. And I can see like, oh, maybe it's just a coincidence. But like, like, come on now. So I see this and I'm like, oh, okay, uh, that's, that's weird, but it doesn't really confirm it. So like at this point now I'm just thinking, oh great, I bandwagon. But then I was looking through it some more, a lot more. This was December 29th, 2020. I posted this on one of his videos. Never forget when he told likes HD to kill himself. Waiting to see how long it takes for this to get deleted. And then... <laughs> And then this video right here popped up. my comment. Oh my god. I didn't actually think he would. What a loser. So yeah, as as that video happened, I kept I got in contact with Like still, and he saw I sent him that video and he was like, yo, he's deleting comments? And I was like, I mean, I don't know if he deleted comments, he deleted mine. And then I pointed out another, like, piece of, uh, evidence that I found. Legs made a video back in September of 2020 when the game started to come out. Uh, like, just locker codes. It's, it's a very common thing that 2K YouTubers do. I did it for a long time, you already know, I'm the emperor of locker codes. So, like, he, he made his locker code video. This is just in case the guy ever denied knowing Legs. You go through the locker, you go through, there are six comments, not a lot of comments. There are six comments, one of them is from... This dude. And in case you think, oh, maybe this is a fake account. First of all, who's making fake accounts of this dude? That's kind of weird. Look at that. Same subs, same videos, all too hype, uh, dick riding. So yeah, you already know now it's him. And now, like, I'm getting screenshots too from this guy, from likes, from like DM conversations that he had with so and so. He said, "You're a weirdo." I think that means. He called this dude a weirdo. He made a whole account to call him sus, get a life. And then Mans was like, LMFEO! <laughs> like, he thought this, he, like, he actually thought this was funny. <laughs> he made a whole account to insult this guy. Like, telling him to kill himself, calling him hard F. And then he admits to it too. Here's the admission right here. 
being like, yo, it was funny. I'm not one to get triggered. At least I don't think I'm one to get triggered. But this doesn't look funny to me. Like, I like to think I have a pretty solid sense of humor. Like, if you're in my streams or you watch my videos even, like, you would think, like, I, I don't know, man. Like, this just doesn't, this doesn't seem like the move. And then something he just sent me. Man's made anti-Semitic comments towards legs. Like, yo. <laughs> like, I'm not going to repeat that. Like, the other ones I repeated, sure, but... How's that anti-Semitic? Send this... You're weird as fuck. Send this man to me. Send this man to the gas chambers. How's that anti-Semitic? Newsflash, it's not. But like, this guy is, this guy's mental. This guy's actually mental. I don't even know, man. He wants to see wild. Look at that man's bio. Make, make kill yourself funny again. This man is stuck in 2016. He's trying his best to cling on to some commentary genre and in the interest of not getting canceled, hold up. Here's my YouTube channel from back in the day. I made a bunch of weird videos, even like they're my most popular videos. I made weird videos for real. Some call it harassment. I'd probably call it harassment looking back. I was 14, 15 trying to get views. And here's where. where he has a difference like i admit to like when i own up to my issue here's my channel go check it out i don't upload on it but yeah a lot of this was for attention if first of all if you're not doing youtube for attention you're kind of weird but, but like you got to do it for like positive attention like if you like for me like I, that's why i'm not really focusing on making drama videos on this channel the closest i made was that two hype video a few weeks ago and this is it and i'm not making another video on this this is gonna be it whatever's added on to it it's added on to it i was actually friends with this guy but because like I was petty and someone and someone toxic was feeding me into it, I kind of ruined the friendship a little bit. That's how toxic I was, and I'm willing to admit that. This guy is weird. Like this guy right here, he's weird and he's getting a platform to do this. He's basically getting rewarded for telling people to kill themselves. Think about that. Think how crazy that is. It's crazy to say. Imagine how crazy it is to hear. Especially me making videos like this. Talking about two hype, like trying to call them out, calling out two hypes, ethics, calling out their morals. All he does is call out other YouTubers, but yet he's out here making comments towards people on burners, on burners, telling them to kill themselves, calling them hard F, calling them this, that, and the other thing. Again, I'm done with this dude now. This video is staying on the channel. I don't care what happens. I don't know if this video is going to even do anything. It's staying on the channel though for whoever wants to see it. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Appreciate the two dollars. But uh, let me say this one thing to end off this stream. There's been this video going around um, exposing me, exposing me, and a lot of people are telling me to address it in the chat. And um, I have nothing to address. I have nothing to address. The video was saying. That I said a whole bunch of offensive things on our burner account. I was trolling someone. I trolled someone in the past. I said some offensive things. I brand myself. My Twitter bio is make kill yourself funny again. I don't brand myself to be a saint. What the fuck? I don't understand where's the expose them. Like, this isn't new news. This isn't new news, guys. People are trying to expose me for being offensive. I'm not too hype. I don't make myself look like a second coming of Christ. What the fuck are we talking about here? What the fuck are we talking about here, bro? Like, what the fuck? My Twitter bio is make kill yourself funny again. And I got people on YouTube trying to, uh, expose me for being offensive. Makes no fucking sense. I just want to give my full attention to Nick's Lose Yourself. What the hell do you gain from this?
I'm sure Merrick said some offensive things, quote unquote offensive things in the past. But at the end of the day, free speech is free speech. And if you next lose yourself can't accept that, then you should not be on the internet. On top of that, the way you're trying to expose him is so weak that it's not even gonna, gonna get him off the internet, the internet. Like, you're very weak at this. You're very, very bad at this, really. You really are. I mean, he branded his Twitter account to make your kill, kill yourself funny again. That's not really a direct way of telling somebody to actually kill themselves. That's not direct. That's not really a direct way of telling somebody to actually kill themselves. Like. What do you gain from trying to ruin this man's career? Hmm? Nothing. You gain from nothing. You're only at what? 3k subscribers at the time of this recording? I mean, come on. You, you could do better than that. Or better yet, you could not do better than that and not make that video in the first place. And about the R word, if you're gonna go on that level, listen. He has the freedom of speech to say whatever the fuck he wants. And the fact that you are so scared of saying his name, even though you made a video about him, is completely very weak on your part. It's very weak. You're weak. You decided to make a video on lyrics, but you can't say his name. Even though you go to his Twitter and his YouTube channel, like, what the fuck are you doing? If you're gonna call out a commentary YouTuber, make sure you say their names. Don't just show their accounts, no, their online accounts, and try to quote unquote expose them. Even though you did, you try to expose lyrics very poorly. Like, seriously. What the fuck are you on about? You try to expose them for clout? I pray that the video that you made about lyrics is not going to do that. I mean, it might be at 100 likes right now, but it won't get many views. And I pray that the that the amount of likes you're getting now will be turning into the amount of dislikes you will, you will be getting. Seriously. You have no credibility to build a YouTube channel like this. If you want to have credibility, at least, at least, try making an effort. Because your last YouTube channel that you showed in your video failed. You failed. Try to do better before you expose somebody.